Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored being, being with you this evening. No words can explain my gratitude to the Index on Censorship for such an opportunity to speak in front of you and for having this valuable prize on behalf of the Egyptian Commission for Rights and Freedoms. Such international recognition makes us stronger. I want to start by saying, no matter how dark is the moment, love and hope are always possible. And when I speak of love and hope, I have to speak about Dr. Hanan Badreddin, the young lady whose husband, Khaled, disappeared five years ago. And she persistently keep looking for him all this time through visiting all prisons, asking for the disappeared people who reappeared if they saw her husband in any detention facility. And during one of these visits, almost a year ago, Hanan was arrested and detained on charges of smuggling an illicit item into prison. This illicit item was a piece of paper with the name of her husband and the date of his disappearance, asking to be circulated among prisoners so that anyone who might have seen her husband could give her an information about him. But did Hanan surrender? No. In, ev in, in each and every renewal of detention session, she takes the photo of her husband with her, raising it in the hope of any other prisoner might ident identify where he was. When I speak of love and hope, I speak about Ibrahim Atwali, the lawyer whose son disappeared in 2013. And Ibrahim kept looking for him for more than four years. And Ibrahim now is in jail. Why? because they formed the Association of the Families of Forcibly Disappeared People. This has been sufficient reason for the authorities to lock him up in a solitary confinement in a cell full of garbage for more than a year. He's still now in jail. And when I speak of love and hope, I speak about Paola Regeni and her son Giulio, an Italian PhD student who lived in Egypt. He was disappeared and was killed in Egypt in 2016. And for more than two years, she has sparked the waves of hope and persistence, both in Egypt and in Italy, speaking each and every time about enforced disappearances in Egypt, speaking out for the truth of Judeo and the disappeared in Egypt. And when I speak of love and hope, I have to speak about the great lawyers who spend a lot of time, sleepless nights, trying to help victims in Egypt, and the wonderful researchers and the campaigners who remain the voice of the voiceless victims. Love and Hope were my cellmates when I was kept in solitary confinement approximately at this time almost two years ago in a dark cell where I was deprived from even having a pillow. And let me tell you, Love and Hope were the perfect companions. It's Love and Hope, our sole weapons against fear. Fear is our greatest enemy and we will conquer it together. And it's not an anticipation, it's a promise. Truth for Judeo and for every Judeo in Egypt. Thank you so much.